Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Child of God, a lot of people are now rejecting you. <laughs> Realizing that you have become a threat to them. If you were to be one of them, God said I should talk to someone. Don't feel, don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Don't put yourself in, you know, in that situation of, oh, maybe something is wrong with me. Ah, maybe what I'm doing is wrong. Oh, maybe I choose something wrong. That is why they all rejected me. No. No, don't, 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 don't build that mindset. Don't build that mindset. Because as a human being, when too many people reject us, you know, maybe you go here, they reject you, you go here, they reject. As a human, you might be acting, you might be feeling somehow like, oh, maybe something is wrong with me. But God is using me to tell you that don't feel that way there is nothing wrong with you the fact that you are being rejected in multiple places does not make you a bad person people that are being accepted in multiple places does not make them good people the difference is that stars difference when you carry a star that is not terminated, I repeat, there are stars that are terminated. There are stars that are corrupted, stars that are smelling. When someone carry a smelling star, those that have similar star, they recognize the person like, oh, this one star is like our own core that we are served. But when you as a child of God carry a star that does not smell bad, that does not represent darkness, that does not represent the kingdom of darkness, you carry that star that speak about God, that speak about the, the things of the Lord. Every human being have a star on their head when you enter a place and that place is full of corrupted stars that are not shining in the right direction you will be rejected because jesus said if they reject you first no if they rejected you know that they rejected me first so it is nothing, it has nothing to do with maybe you are not a good person or you choose a bad career or you choose this or you choose that. No, there are people who will live your life and reject you. The moment your life starts falling in line with the will of God. Are you not the one that is praying, let everything about me align with the will of God? Yes, I know we pray the prayers. Let my marriage align, let my life align, let my head align, let my friendship, even everything, my ministry align. We pray. My children align, these align, that align, education align with the will and purpose of God. When things about you align with the things of God, there will be rejection. There will be rejection. The rejection will push you to a point where you will start asking, is it that 
what I am doing is not with the will of God because why? It is only few that can see like you see, that are righteous, that are living a holy life like you do. Very few. It is only few that are cautious of the things of God the way you do. It is only few that want the right thing to be done. It is only few. So that, that is why I say it is fewer of us. So when you go to public things, when you go to stores, things, family, there are lots of people who will reject you because they are not among the few that carry the light. This is God telling you, don't feel like, don't feel that your path doesn't align. That is why your path even align. That is the most reason why these people are rejecting you. You can't start up a job that God said you should do and expect all friends to remain with you when you start the job. It does not work that way because there are so many friends who will even condemn when who will condemn you when your life start aligning with the will of God. Hallelujah. I believe I'm speaking to somebody. You are going to tell yourself, no matter what rejects me, I will live my life in a way that it will align with the will of God. Because you can't sit at the fence. If they want your life to align with their own will, you will see yourself living the will of God. If you want to choose and say, okay, for them to accept me, let me live my life now to align with the way they want me to live. You will see yourself living the will of God. If you are a party goer, people in party will be attracted to you. But if you choose not to go to party again and said no, I don't want to be among this party. For I'm giving you an example. I don't want to party like this. How can I be partying like this night, day, afternoon? I can't do this anymore. Then the people in the party have no business with you anymore. When you are saying hello to them, they will tell you, keep your hello to yourself. The moment our lives start aligning with the will of God, friends will turn to enemies. The journey of our life aligned with the purpose of God. We, we attract rejection from those that want our life to align with their own will. This is to tell you no matter how many rejection you face, let it be in family in the place of your job. Never, never feel like it's because you choose what is wrong. That is why they are be, you are being rejected. Most ministers you're seeing, most people you see, most successful Christians you see, they have been in that situation to the point many of them became isolated. Because those that they know, they walk away the moment they start fulfilling their goals. Those that they once love walk away the moment they themselves start fulfilling their purpose in line with the will of God. Friends will turn haters. Family will betray. Not all family. I'm just using that word. You know. <clears throat> Neighbors will ask, Are this, is this one going crazy? We used to hold hands together. He is no longer doing as we are doing. He's not trying to do his own things or her own thing in a different way. They will reject you. Why? Because Christ was different. Among all, he was being rejected. Is it we that would not be rejected? Child of God, you did not choose wrongly. When your life start aligned with the will of God, there are in-laws who will be called prisoners towards you. When your life start aligned with the will of God, there are people who will start, 
who is who will just start uh, acting weird towards you child of god all these people that are rejecting you they are blind because they are led by a blind master they are blind led by the blind so leave them alone let your life align with the will of god but don't blame yourself for what for whosoever is rejecting you if they don't accept you for who you are it means that they were never there to walk with you in your journey of align with god hallelujah i pray that this message will bless you i pray you smile i pray you rejoice even in the face of persecution in the face of that rejection child of god rejoice rejoice always it is well with you jesus love you and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.